enjoyed a good deal of sunshine this week, but now the grass and the flowers are saying, hey, how about a little something for us? Right, we need a drink. It's time. <laughs> yeah. And we've got plenty of that on the way beginning, well, for some people right now. We've got some showers out there right now, but before we get into all that, I want to talk a bit about uh, snow depth so far this season. I've talked to a few people. They said the spring skiing conditions have been awesome, but the problem now is that we are just watching that snowpack fade away, and I think uh, with rain on the way tonight and tomorrow, we will probably put another big dent in what remains of our snowpack, but you know, it's still only early April. We always get something in April. We'll see where we end up. So far this season, Caribou still running slightly above normal. Bangor starting to fall back now about uh, eight inches below normal. Portland, though, is where it's a bit more impressive. So far, we've got a deficit of almost two feet of snow for the season, and those averages will climb just a little bit more throughout the month of April. And then, of course, as we get into May, we can pretty much uh, write most of the season off. Although, you know, we always get a, a surprise in May, too, especially across northern and western parts of the state. Here on the water vapor satellite imagery, we can track our two storm systems. Here's a big upper level low across the Great Lakes, drier air moving into the upper Midwest. And all of these pinks and purples you see here is where the clouds are pretty tall, very cold cloud tops. And that means that that's where we see a lot of our rain, which checks out when you look at the radar. We've got showers ongoing right now across most of New Hampshire, and a lot of this is actually reaching the ground. I just got a report in from Wyndham of some sleet getting mixed in. Um, and I think that that's going to be something we see, especially north of 302. That's the most likely area where I think we could see just a little bit of wintry mix happening. Beyond this, though, temperatures for most probably won't climb much more. In fact, we may even see some spots fall over the next few hours. But this is really about it for rain. We should dry things out until 10 o'clock or so tonight. We'll be watching by 7 showers developing across Vermont and into parts of Canada, and this all starts to move toward us. And by the time we get to about 11 o'clock, I expect some drizzle at the coastline with clouds thickening up inland. By five in the morning, so starting off the day tomorrow, we'll be dealing with our first batch of showers. Some mixing ongoing from Freiburg and north, especially across anywhere uh, that's above about 1,500 feet in elevation. This is going to be a pretty powerful slug of rain, expecting some heavy showers to get mixed in by 9 o'clock tomorrow. Temperatures for most are above freezing, so even where the sleet is mixing in, I don't really expect impacts from that. It crosses into down east areas shortly after lunchtime tomorrow around noon, and then behind this, we should wrap up the precip pretty quickly. But of course, that also means that we still have to deal with more active weather this weekend. By the time we're all said and done, I think we're going to end up with about a half inch to an inch of rain for most of Maine. Some spots at the coastline, though, especially at the southwestern coastline, Sagadahawk County south through Cumberland and York counties, we could end up with about an inch to two inches of rain. The flooding risk overall still remains low, though, and I'm not that concerned that we have to deal with any of that, which is great news. On Saturday, we've get, we get a renewed round of showers through. Doesn't look like a washout, but certainly some showers around. Mostly cloudy on Sunday. And then as we get into the beginning of next week, we set up what everybody's been waiting for so far this April, a warming pattern. Marine forecast for today, we've got seas 4 to 7 feet, east wind 10 to 15 knots, gusting to 25 knots. Gale warnings are going to go into effect uh, later on this evening through the day tomorrow. Scattered showers Saturday maybe some sun on Sunday, and then take a look at that 54, 56, 60 Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at the coastline, 56 Monday, 58 Tuesday, 58 Wednesday. And Pat, it's sea breeze season. Yeah, but of course, those overnight temperatures also are going to be key because it means you can start leaving plants outside. Pretty yes, soon. you can start. I wouldn't put anything in the ground just yet. We still no, got. No, but you got them in the pots, get them out there, yeah. get them soaking it up. Thank you, Mike.